All right, here we go, here we go. Welcome back to Rodney with the Knicks. This is the channel where we talk about the team that we love, the season as it unfolds, and the deeper themes that we can pull out of the game and apply to our lives to be the best versions of ourselves. If you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button, please. It means a whole bunch to me as a creator, and it really isn't that hard for you to do. You just hit that little subscribe button. Brand new channel, been up and running for a few months now. We got about almost 300 subscribers. Like I said in past, past videos, I'm about to announce a contest where I'm going to be giving away a piece of Nyx merch that you are going to want. Um, and I'm going to announce that contest very, very soon. You're going to need to be subscribed to enter though. So hit the subscribe button. Uh, but today's video is really an exciting time because we're getting into the second half of the season. Obviously, it's less than half, but I'm talking about post-All-Star break. And we got some news already, of course. The Knicks always have news. But before, um, right at the beginning, like after the last game, I think it was, Tibbs said what? He said, Everything, everything's on the table now. Everything's on the table. Did we believe him? Sort of. Not really, though. And so, but now we hear that Kemba shut down for the year. I'm not celebrating in the fact that Kemba is hurt, that his homecoming has not been great. I feel sorry for the man and he's carried himself like nothing less than the uh, perfect professional in everything he's had to go through. So this ain't about Kemba, but the fact that the Knicks organization has shut him down and, you know, it sounds like he's been part of that process means that they are really open to anything now. And so the question is, who is the Knicks starting point guard tomorrow night? Is it Alec Burks? Which would make some Knicks call their eyeballs out. Not because Alec Burks is a bad player, but because we're trying to force him or Tibbs keep trying to force him into that role. Or will it be IQ? Will it be Deuce? Or will it be that Ryan guy? Who is going to be the Knicks starting point guard tomorrow night? And I believe that if it's Deuce or IQ, the Knicks fan base should be celebrated because it's what we've been calling for. Now, it might not um, transfer to immediate beautiful results, but it means that Tibbs is changing and we cannot keep rolling out the same old message if we have new evidence. So, if Tibbs is starts IQ or starts Deuce tomorrow night and when they mess up, leaves him in there and lets him get some real run, if we start to see some more minutes for Obi, some more minutes for Cam, um, then the Knicks a fan base should be elated because this is what everyone's been calling for. And so I am so excited about tomorrow night's game. I wanted to just jump on here and make this quick video because I really want to ask you, who do you think will be the starting point guard tomorrow night for the New York Knicks? And uh, more importantly, who do you think it should be? Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I, I hope that you weigh in. I hope that you hit the subscribe button. And I hope that you are the one who wins that Knicks merch. Again, it is not riding with the Knicks, this channel merch. We don't even have that yet. Someday we will. But it is actual Knicks merch. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you about it in the next video. All right, until the next video, let's keep riding with the Knicks.